And now it's time for a brief moment in hockey history with Old Time Hockey. So, what about the first exhibition game this weekend with Minnesota? Will she play? Yeah, absolutely. The coaching staff sees fit to put it for a period in a game, or half of a game. I don't know how they're going to do it. Yeah, she's going to play. This is the story of Manon Rayon. Born in February 24, 1972, in Beaufort, Quebec, Manon Rayon had many first historic moments in her career, including becoming the first woman to ever play for one of the four major North American pro sports leagues. Going to the beginning of her playing career, she was the first girl to ever play in the International Pee Wee Hockey Tournament in 1984. She would continue to rise through the Pee Wee and Bantam ranks, making it to the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, breaking barriers once again, becoming the first woman to play for a men's major junior hockey team. This would catch the attention of Tampa Bay Lightning's then GM Phil Esposito. He noticed Rayon and quickly signed her to a short-term deal with the NHL's Tampa Bay Lightning. Many viewed this as a publicity stunt in order to sell more tickets for the new expansion team. Rayom did not care as long as she got to play. And during a press conference, Esposito promised everyone that she would play. It was in a preseason game in 1992 that hockey history was made when Manon Rayon suited up and took the ice for the Tampa Bay Lightning. She would allow two goals on nine shots. Rayon would see preseason action the following year against the Boston Bruins. But her NHL career was over in just two preseason games. But her hockey career was definitely not done. It was also in 1992 that she was signed by the Atlanta Knights of the International Hockey League and became the first woman to play in a regular season men's pro hockey game. She would play for seven different men's teams between the years of 1992 and 1997. Also in 1992, she would play for the Canada International Team and won the Women's World Championships in 1992 and 1994. She would also represent Canada in the 1998 Winter Olympics, winning a silver medal for her country and finishing the Olympics with the best goals against average of 0.87 and the best save percentage of 0.944. She would retire from hockey at the end of the 1997-98 season and write her autobiography, Manon, Alone in Front of the Net initially thinking that her hockey career was over. Since retiring in 1998, Rayon played a handful of games for a number of teams over the years, including her last professional game with the Flint Generals in 2009. Rayon was briefly married to Jerry St. Cyr, and if that name sounds familiar, it's because he played for the Thunder Bay Thunderhawks and Senators. They were married in June 1998, and were later divorced, but they had two sons, Dylan and Dakota. Dylan St. Cyr, like his mother, is currently a goaltender for Notre Dame. In 1999, she was hired by Mission Hockey as the head of global marketing for women's hockey. One of her projects was helping develop hockey skates for women. Rayom has continued to be an advocate for women's hockey. In 2008, she created the Menon Rayon Foundation, which provides scholarships for young women pursuing hockey careers. In 2015, she would drop the puck in the ceremonial face-off of the first National Women's Hockey League game. And as of 2017, Rayon resides in Michigan and coaches the Detroit Little Caesars under-12 girls hockey team. Menon Rayon. So it was a family sport. Everybody in the family uh, began playing at an early age. But did you, uh, at what age as a young woman, did you get serious about thinking, I'm good enough now, I might be able to compete professionally? I never think I can make a tryout in NHL. Uh, I always play because I love hockey. Hockey for me is a passion. 
Aki for me is a passion. Say, <laughs> say that again. Just, just say that part again. Aki for me is a passion. Ooh. <laughs> And this has been a brief moment of hockey history.